Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonathan. If you're brand new here, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like before you even start because I'm going to fill this video with value and you guys are going to absolutely love it. If you're in SMA and you're working with e-com stores, this video is going to be perfect for you because it's going to help you understand how to get them results. And if you're an e-com store and you want to double your revenue, double your profit, this video is just for you. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So how to double your business profit with one simple step. So the first thing we have to know if we want to go ahead and double your business profits, what is your average car value? What is the average car value? When you go ahead and advertise online, you have an average car value. How much does people spend with you when they see your advertisement, when they go to your website? What is their average car value? If you don't know that number, you need to go ahead and go to your website, go to your client's website and figure it out. What is the average car value of their business, of your business? Okay, you need to know that number like the back of your hand, okay? So for example, if you have a product that is $50, is your average car value $50 or are they buying other stuff when they go to your website as well? So first, what is an average car value? So before we even think about doubling your business profit, we need to understand what average car value is the average car value should be double your front end product so if your product is $50 the average car value should be around a hundred dollars and the reason why is because we want to make sure that your website is also selling other products because that makes it so much easier for you to profit with your advertisements because let's say your product is $50 and it costs you $40 to go ahead and get someone in to your website and buy the product so now there's a $10 difference but now how much did it cost you to make that product it probably cost you $20 to make that product so now you're negative $10 but now if your average car value is $100 so for example you have a product that's $50 it costs you $40 to bring them in to bring them in from an advertisement it costs you $20 to make that product you're still negative $10 but your average car value is $100. So now you've made $40 from that same advertisement just by increasing the average car value. And the best way to increase the average car value of your store is through upsells. Upsells is one of the most important things that you need to have in your e-com store. And if this is if you're doing this for your client, make sure you create upsells for your client because if they don't have upsells, you're not going to be able to double their business in just one simple step. If they don't have upsells and you come in and get them as a client, just by doing this little thing, they're going to be able to double their sales super, super quick and keep the same cost of acquiring a client, which is one of the most important thing. You're keeping the same low cost to acquire a client and you're doubling their back end sales with upsells. So what are upsells? Think about McDonald's. When you go to McDonald's, do you really go for the fries or the drink? No, most likely not, right? You probably want a um, McDouble or you want a uh, number one or number two, whatever it is, you want to make chicken. And then what do they always say when you go to McDonald's? They say, hey, do you want some fries with that? At this point, what are they doing? They're upselling you fries. And then, oh yeah, well, do you also want to drink and just make it a meal? Okay, perfect, yes. Okay, what size? Large, medium, small? I'll just take the large. So what did they do that? The fries and the drink is pure profit. That's where they're making most of their money. Because when they come out with a burger, how much does it cost them to advertise that burger that just came out? It cost them a whole bunch of money to advertise a new burger. So what are they doing? They're breaking even at the burger level. They're breaking even at the burger level. And then with the fries and the drinks, that's when they're making their money. And those are McDonald's upsells. For example, you're going to any store and they try to offer you something else that's an upsell. Let's say you go to Nike and you want to buy some shoes. They say, hey, do you also want some socks with those shoes? That's an upsell, guys. Those are upsells that every business has. And upsells have been around for the longest time, but now we have to put that into our own store. You have to put that into your own income store. So for example, if you're selling pens, upsell a pencil. Or if you're selling a pencil, upsell an eraser. Just think about what is congruent to the first product 
that you could go ahead and sell to them as well. So how to make a great upsell? So the upsell has to be a complement to the first purchase. It cannot be something totally different. So if you're selling iPhones here, right? If you're selling iPhones, it can't be um, a computer like as an upsell. It just doesn't make sense. If you're selling an iPhone, what about an iPhone case? What about an iPhone charger? What about an iPhone or some AirPods, right? Those are an upsell. They buy an iPhone. Hey, do you want some AirPods with that? Perfect. Hey, do you want some? Do you want a, a case with that? Okay, perfect. You see how it complements the first purchase? Now, if you're selling an online course, and how do you do uh, upsells for an online course? So for example, let's say you're selling a fitness, uh, how to lose weight, right? You're selling a how to lose weight course. Um, it's a six week course on how to lose weight. Don't go ahead and try to sell them a bodybuilding upsell because the avatar is not the same. You have to keep them, you have to think about your customer. The person that's trying to lose weight is not necessarily the same person that's trying to build and become a bodybuilder. So having an upsell about bodybuilding will not work because that person is only interested in losing weight. Now, if you have an upsell, okay, now, once you lose this weight, you could, let's go ahead and have my toning program that you can go ahead and start toning up your muscles. You're still talking to the same avatar, so that could be a good upsell. Now, let's say you're selling Facebook ads as a course. What is a good upsell to Facebook ads? A sales funnel. Hey, you need to send these people somewhere when you when you build these Facebook ads. So where are you going to send them? Hey, there, there's this um, funnel course that I created, go ahead and get it. That is a compliment to the first purchase that will solve an itch. It will relieve another itch that this main product is causing. So now let's say you sell new watches. If you're selling watches and then you want to think about an upsell for a watch, think about, for example, what, why are the, what are the reasons why people get other watches? Cause they want to have something different, right? So if they have a leather band, try to get them a, another solid band, another color band, another type of band, another material of the band. That could be another upsell or various upsells to your funnel. And one of the most important things, it has to be easy to understand. If you have to resell them on the concept of why they want another watch, it's not going to work. It has to be super, super easy to understand and it has to be a no brainer. That's how you make a great upsell. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like, go ahead and subscribe. I come up with videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about digital marketing, SMMA, and helping you guys grow your agency or helping your business grow just in general. So like I said, my name is Jonathan, and I'll talk to you guys later.